Painted Prayer started as a personal healing journey for Brianna, a journey back to spirituality. Five years ago, she started not feeling well and took a step back from work to reevaluate her life. It was kind of during that time as my health problems started to escalate and my work had to start backing off that I kind of found myself in a place where I was couch bound for a while. I was really sick, the pain was getting really bad and nobody could figure out what it was or what was going on. In the midst of all that, I started doing a lot of like soul searching and kind of internal work trying to figure out, you know, what I really want and what's really a priority in my life. And um, I got back to two of my old loves, which is painting and journaling. They sort of started to collide to where the things that I was writing in the journal started showing up on the canvas. and. As I was like pouring it out of me, it just started to like come to life in front of me and I could see myself like working through the issues or the feelings and, and all that kind of in a very visceral, visual way. That was kind of the beginning of Painted Prayers. While working on her paintings, her symptoms went into remission. The painting therapy helped her cope with the pain. She didn't know how these art forms would profoundly help her in the near future when life's road became bumpy again. In May of 2016, health problems came back, more intense this time. After many medical evaluations, she went to Mayo Clinic and was diagnosed with lupus and fibromyalgia and is now battling neurological issues as well. She went back to art as therapy. In the process of that, I really felt like I've been able to stay grounded and stay in tune with what, where I'm at emotionally. Um, by doing these paintings, by, by tapping into that creativity on a regular basis, it really helps me, um, it helps me kind of manage the pain just because it gives me something different to focus on, gives me something different to dive into, um, but it also just really gives me a really solid coping mechanism and it keeps me really grounded in my faith. She knew she had a gift to share and began teaching painted prayer workshops to teach the process of spiritual exploration through art. Her participants were transformed finding new ways to cope with grief and trauma or emotional issues and challenges. She stresses the concept of a judgment-free zone. So it kind of helps people get out of their own way a little bit and recognize that creativity is not just for a few people. There's no barrier to entry, right? I mean, if you can grab a pack of crayons, you can be creative and you can get artistic with it. And it's such a freeing and healing space to be in when you can just create and flow and be curious and and just observe what's coming out of you instead of judging it the whole time.